have seen in other videos uh, this spectra treated with different uh, math treatments but now uh, what we're going to see is uh, the, the constituents values so uh, we are going to to check the reference data and the reference data is in the first five columns so if we have a look we see that we have 66 samples and uh, five constituents uh, and if we look more carefully these are the values in percentage we see that for sample 58 we have uh, zero values for fat and ash are considered zero as a reference value so we have to change it for the characters uh, NA in order to to not have outliers in the future when developing the calibration if you have a big data set maybe it's me uh, better to run the summary uh, and you can have a look to the minimum and maximum mean and so on in order to check that we don't have uh, strange values like in this case zero for the minimum for ash and fat you can have a look also to the histogram uh, in order to see uh, how many samples we can have uh, with the strange uh, values well now we want to change the zero values for the NA character so we are going to do it for ash and to create a new constituent ash1 uh, where the value changes from uh, zero to NA so uh, let's edit ash uh, and we are going to change the value so we change 0 for NA well good uh, we can close and it, uh, ask if we want to modify or to save the changes we say yes good now uh, we have a new constituent as one with the zero substitute by NA so we have to modify our data frame and create a new demo row one data frame uh, what we do here is to change fat uh, by fat one uh, and ash by as one so uh, let's run all the data frame good now uh, now we can have a look and to edit this data frame to see if everything is fine uh, good uh, let's see if sample 58 58 has NA, NA, it's okay, so it's done. 